Rivera, your BSE in Freshman Student of Lady Normal University, San Isidro Campus, under Entrepreneurial Behavior Management subject. Here is my video recitation presentation to the following task. First question, how entrepreneurs work to the businessman? So in way of understanding, a business entrepreneur has an idea or product for the business world. A serial entrepreneur has many ideas and constantly start a new companies or enterprises to implement those ideas. A businessman is a person who runs the business. Undertaking an original business idea, on the contrary, an entrepreneur is someone who first initiates a product or a business idea and is the leader of that in the market. In the long run, an entrepreneur becomes a businessman, but there is a difference. Question number two, discuss the different behaviors or attitude of an entrepreneur. Number one, they evolve with their action and priorities each day. Every successful entrepreneur know that with every day, they're building their futures. Number two, they're always looking for opportunities. Each entrepreneur are really successful, don't trust on their current success, they realize life changes quickly. Number three, they are constantly learning. So, unstoppable entrepreneurs know that they don't know it all. As a result, they never stop learning. Number four, they hire a team player. So, entrepreneurs that don't succeed are often those who are afraid to have a team player on their staff. Number five, they know their strengths and weaknesses. Every successful business owner are honest with themselves. Number six, they take calculated risk. Number seven, they set their clear goals. Question number three, discuss the previous assignment. So number one, what factors affect the culture of organization? So first, we must define organizational cultures as the ways the people in the organization see what are important, how they make decisions, and how they behave. So organization cultures are the real values people hold and hence behave accordingly, changing the mission, Vision and values will change the organization culture. It is usually best initiated by the leaders in the organization and promoted by the policies of rewards and punishment. Communication. On the behavior of the leaders, people learn best through modeling other behaviors and also observe what happens to them when they act in the certain ways. Number two, how organizations live longer. An organization strives to achieve their objectives they may live far beyond the tincture and even the life of other individual members unless they are severely mismanaged or are forced to close down. Organizations have their own life cycle with different phases that we can call lunch, growth, maturity, and phases. As organizations function during these days, different phases, their managers face challenges that are different in nature. Number three, where can you say that organization is a power tool for human beings? In my personal and humble opinion, people crave powers because it gives you influence and respect, mainly influence. You see, with power comes influence and influence is very addictive. Because with influence people do not miss with you, people respect your opinion, people begin to follow you just for your opinion. And suddenly, this can get to your head. You become proud and you begin to feel as if you are God and that is partly how power. Number four. Why divisional structures is very important for organizations? So divisional structures is having an enhanced ability to respond quickly to change in the external environment. And in case there is separation of strategic and operating control needs, divisional structure can respond quicker than functional structure. Number five, give the different role and functional of line and staffing of organization. First, line function is the primary activities which are essential to the basic operation of business is called line function, while staff function, the function which provides assistance, the line function, is called staff function. Staff employees are not directly involved in the production. Number six, how the elements work of organization. So the organization structure shows cooperate communication, the executive, managerial, hierarchy, and creates plan for the efficient growth in the future. Number seven, what is the employee's role in the organization? So, it is an employee's responsibility to ensure that they are doing their jobs. It is the responsibility to be at work regularly on time. It is the responsibility to effectively communicate with supervisor or managers if they are going to be late or absent from work. Number eight, why committee is structural is important to organizations.
organization. So, committee organizational structure provide integrated ideas of values related people of the company. Number nine, explain the advantage and disadvantage of committee in the organization. Advantage of committee. Number one, pulling of opinions. The members bring in different backgrounds, values, viewpoints, and abilities. Number two, improve cooperation. So the members of the committee usually to get to know each other. Number three, motivation. From a human standpoint, the biggest advantage of committees may be increased motivation and commitment. Number four, presentation. So since the committee members may have different interests and opinions that may be opposed to each other. Number five, dispersion of power. It's by spreading authority and responsibility for all committee members this problem can be eliminated. Disadvantage of committee. Number one, time and cost. The nature of the committee is such that everyone has an equal chance to speak up and take part in the discussion and this be very time consuming. Number two, compromise. This may result in premature agreements and decision of mediocre equality. Last question, design and layout sample of organizational instruction in the certain company.